What's up y'all? Welcome to the vlog. Today we are headed to Europe and you're coming along with me. First, we're going to go to Ireland and then we're going to go to London. So we should be in Ireland for about three days and then London for about four. So um, I know I look so busted right now, y'all. I didn't put on any makeup because we're going to be on the plane for a very a long time. So who wants all that going on, you know? So next we are headed to um, the airport so we're just waiting on our uber and so this is my first trip to europe and it's my first vlog so i'm pretty excited about both and i hope i do a good job and i hope that y'all enjoy it <laughs> Nobody's in line, so we should get through here pretty quickly. Philadelphia Airport um, from here we are going to London so we are landing in London but from London we're going to Ireland and after we spend a few days there we're going back to London to actually spend some time there so um, it's been a long day already so this next flight is going to be our longest leg um, from Philadelphia to London um, so yeah so we are headed to our gate right now and then we are going to be boarding the plane. So I'll see y'all again whenever we touch down in London.
Hey y'all, it's me. We just landed in London about 30 to 45 minutes ago. Um, we had to get through the lines for a couple of different things and then we were trying to get situated. But we found this um, cute restaurant called Giraffe World Kitchen. And I just wanna say that this airport is really, really cool. It's like a mall. Like it has so many stores, it has all the things. Um, so right now we are going to eat and then after that we are going to catch our next flight. We have been awake now for 24 hours straight and our last flight was good. Um, everything was smooth and everything but we're just ready to get this last flight knocked out so we can get comfortable and get some rest. So the next time that I see y'all will be when we are at our suite in Ireland. Here's mine. I got this chicken curry style dish. And then John got a breakfast brunch type of dish. Never seen beans paired with eggs, but welcome to London. Oh my gosh that was quite the journey so we flew from which i did not tell y'all this earlier like in detail i apologize for that so we flew from new orleans to philly that was like two hours then philly straight to london that was roughly close to seven hours then london to dublin which was like an hour and a half and then when we landed in Dublin, we were coming to Galway. So that was like a three hour bus ride, which felt like it was seven hours. 
So we are so tired, we are so depleted, but we are just so thankful that we made it here. Um, everybody got here safely. There were no issues with luggage or anything like that. So definitely grateful, but very tired. <laughs> so tired. I'm about to um, brush my teeth, wash my face, take a shower, like get myself together because I feel disgusting right now. Um, but before I do that, I wanted to give y'all an apartment tour um, of the Airbnb we're staying in. Okay, so this wooden door here is the front door that leads us into the apartment. And this apartment is two bedroom, two bathroom. So let's go on over here. So this is the living room area, as you can see. And then they also have a dining room table in here. Um, Y'all can see that, see that it's dark right now, but whenever um, the sun shines in the morning, there's actually like the ocean like right over there. So um, I'll be able to show that to y'all later. Um, and now let me show you the kitchen. I have always known that kitchens in Europe are definitely a lot smaller. I feel like overall, just how Europeans live, just they live more minimal, uh, minimally than we do in America. Um, but I love this kitchen, y'all. So look at how small like this oven is. Like really cute. Um, so yeah, this is the kitchen. It's got the um, electric stove. And I really love these cabinets. Like, look at that. And what I love even more is that this is the refrigerator. So watch. How cool is that? Right? So yeah. This is the kitchen. It's got like a small little sink here. Um, but I just think it's so cute. So that's like my favorite part so far. Okay, so let's keep it moving along. Um, I'm gonna show the little washer and dryer, which is really cute. Stackable, totally stackable. Um, and then right over here, we have a full bath area. And this is the bathtub, which I would love to soak in today, right now. <laughs> um, and then this is going to be the second bedroom right here. It has two beds in it. Um, and I think this wallpaper is pretty fun, actually. It's pretty cool. I haven't seen anything like that in a while. And then there's also a full bathroom in here too. Um, so I guess this would operate as the primary bathroom, but it's funny because it has two beds. And then here is the second bedroom. And y'all, <laughs> it is so cold in here right now and I have no idea how to work this thing. I think this is supposed to be like the heater but I have no idea what's going on with it. I'm scared, I'm gonna burn it down, like burn down the apartment because I don't know what I'm doing. And like, obviously their thermostats and stuff look differently here. Like, I don't, I don't know. See, like, I don't know what to do with that. Um, <laughs> the anxiety's real. But yeah, y'all, that is the apartment tour, which is really nice. So I'm about to get myself together so I can feel like a human again, like a lady. But I'm going to see y'all in the morning because in the morning we are going to the Cliffs of Moher. So we have a little bit more traveling to do, but it's all good. Tomorrow is going to be a lot of fun and definitely memorable because I'm so excited to see the sights and everything. So see y'all later. Good night. Good morning, y'all. Um, it is about 7.30 right now. Um, so today is our Cliffs of Moor tour, which we are very excited about. Um, first, we're gonna meet for dinner. Dinner. We're gonna meet for breakfast in about 20 minutes. And then we're gonna start our voyage to the cliffs. Um, 
but I'm just really glad we got some really good sleep last night, feeling refreshed today and feeling like, you know, back to our normal selves. So I will see y'all at breakfast. Hello to my people. So y'all, I completely forgot that um, it's Thanksgiving, so happy Thanksgiving. I know that it's not Thanksgiving anymore by the time that y'all see this, but this is gonna be a first, like not being home for Thanksgiving or having like a traditional Thanksgiving meal, but I'm not mad about it at all because Thanksgiving is my least favorite holiday. I know that sounds so bad, but um, yeah, right now we're just waiting on that taxi to come and um so we can get started but yeah i just wanted to come on here because i completely forgot that it's thanksgiving so um y'all it's kind of like i mean it's cold out here but it's not brutally cold how i thought it would be so i'm happy about that is at a castle on the way to Cliffs of Moor and it's really cool here it is look at how beautiful that is right next to the water this is my first time seeing a castle in person um, this is going to be a smaller one they have a ton of castles out here in Ireland this is definitely a small one but it looks so pretty and a lot of literature, a lot of manuscripts were written during that period here in Ireland as well. And I suppose one of the more famous manuscripts or books that was written was the famous accounts initially. And then down through the centuries, these roads have been surfaced with tarmac. And that's why we're travelling on these windy roads to Linden. It's a really yeah, I, I cute restaurant. Uh, it's definitely pub style. Really, really cute. I wish I could get video of the inside, but unfortunately, it won't do it justice. We're about to have lunch, and we'll make it to the cliffs eventually. <laughs> Yeah, I did. 
This restaurant is so cute. It even has a little fireplace going. So cozy. Definitely my kind of vibe. Just over there to the left hand side of the coach, you can see the high wall up there. Once you go past that high wall, that takes you out onto a little path, which takes you around the... Okay, we finally made it to the cliffs and we have a long way to go. I'll show y'all. Okay, so we walk up this path. We are already above sea level, so it doesn't look like we are actually like on a cliff. But if you look over this way, you can tell pretty high up. So we'll see what it looks like. Okay, y'all, as you can see, it's so cold, <laughs> um, but it's so beautiful out here, and I highly suggest that you go to the cliff Cliffs of Moor if you have not already added to your bucket list. Now, we normally meet another coach coming against us. He is a bit late this evening today. He should be... He's running about 10 minutes late by the sounds of things, but we'll probably meet him down here when the road gets a bit narrow. Okay, so the Cliffs of Moor were so beautiful. It was definitely a workout and it was cold and it was windy. And it was so windy at one point, I thought my feet were gonna come off the ground. <laughs> it was crazy. But um, we made it back to our Airbnb. Uh, we took about 45 minutes just to rest up and now we're headed to go eat pizza for Thanksgiving dinner. And then after that, we're gonna visit a really cute holiday market. All right, y'all, so we just made it back to Dublin. We're gonna be here for, um, I guess the next couple of days. I'm so bad at keeping up with the itinerary, um, but we just made it back over. Once again, we had to take that long um, two and a half hour bus ride, but no complaints. We made it all here in one piece. And so we're just gonna um, put our bags away here because our check-in time is for another few hours or so. So we're gonna put our bags away and then find somewhere to eat because I'm starving and I know everybody's hungry. So I will see y'all at breakfast. Breakfast slash lunch. I don't even know what time it is to be honest y'all. <laughs> I'm all over the place.
So I forgot to mention that we are staying at the Hyatt Centric Hotel on Dean Street. And it just opened about two years ago. Um, but because of COVID, they really haven't had much activity. So it's like a brand new hotel. Very nice. Here we are. Ooh, have a, what's this called? A chase? Has mid-century vibes. Lots of wood tones. I'm gonna come back to show the view. Ooh, this is a nice little area. In the bathroom. That shower's something serious. Sink is pretty cool. Very generous with the mirrors. Have mirrors everywhere. There's our view. So cute. Really cute. Okay, so I just told y'all that I wasn't sure how long we would be in Dublin, so we leave tomorrow. So um, this is a very quick walkthrough of the city, I guess we'll be doing. Um, so we're still in our room right now. Um, we wound up being able to get checked in right away, which was great. We didn't have to wait a few hours like I thought we would have to. So um, we're about to leave in about eight minutes to get something to eat. I am very tired. It's just been nonstop ever since we left New Orleans. So, and that's like another thing I didn't tell y'all. I didn't really tell y'all what was going on with the flights. So we started in New Orleans, went from New Orleans, which is where I live, New Orleans to Philadelphia, Philadelphia to London, London to Dublin, Dublin to Galway. And now we're going, then today, we left Galway, came back to Dublin, and then we fly to London tomorrow. So, um, I don't even know if I told y'all that. If I'm repeating myself again, I'm sorry. Um, but I just didn't think I, I was very clear on that. So, yeah, I'm going to see y'all at breakfast. I'm gonna try to change my scarf because right now I just have like a lot of colors going on. It's a lot. So I'm gonna try to get that situated. Okay y'all, so I changed out my scarf, looks much better, just did black. I am tired though of wearing like whatever this is, I call it toboggans, but people don't call it a toboggan. I'm from the Carolinas, we say toboggan, but beanies, whatever you wanna call it, I'm tired of wearing this. I feel like I look like a boy and I just want my hair to be out loud and free. But there's no point in me doing that, so I'm not. Tell them why I need to keep the hat on. Because it's raining. You could take your hair out in London.
so I forgot to record us at uh, lunch but it was a really good lunch um, really cute really cute and cool restaurant um, so now we are headed back to the um, hotel because I'm tired I wish I could show y'all some more of Dublin but I am exhausted so we're heading back to the room so I can get me some rest Okay, so on our way back to the hotel, we decided to make a quick stop by St. Patrick's Cathedral. This is the oldest church in Ireland, and it is absolutely breathtaking, y'all. So beautiful. And we, it also sits um, in a park. So this is the St. Patrick Park as well. This is a big area. Um, but anyway, y'all. So cool. I love history. I'm not sure if they let you go inside of the church, but we're not because like I said, I'm tired and it is so cold out here. Um, but we at least did want to come by just to see it. Just to say that we did. I mean, you can't come to Dublin and not come here. So that's what we decided to do. Well, this wraps up my vlog for Ireland. Um, I hope that y'all enjoyed it. Like I said, it's my first time. I really didn't know what I was doing. However, tomorrow we are heading to London. I'm going to have a separate vlog for that um, because I just didn't want it way too long. So I hope that y'all enjoyed this one. I didn't get to show y'all um, my last meal I had here, but it was exquisite. So if you're ever in Ireland, be sure to visit the Hyatt centric um in dublin and try their corn fed chicken entree it's so good um it also comes with um mashed potatoes and the best spinach i've ever had so um y'all that's all i have i'm going to see y'all hopefully in the next vlog as i cover london stay tuned